Unlike many dogs, Desert Bob does not seem to mind that he's going to the vet. Maybe he knows it's because the worst is behind him. This is actually going to be a really good checkup. A good checkup after a terrible ordeal that started a year ago, when Bob got out of his pen in the town of Desert, Texas. He got into a neighbor's trash. They tried to shoo Bob away. But Bob is deaf, so he did not hear the neighbor yelling. They shot him, and they aimed for his heart. Desert Bob survived and made it back to his pen, but he never got proper medical care. Eventually, Bob's owner called DFW Humane Society volunteer Marcy Murray. When I picked up Bob, it was very clearly infected, and he wasn't in very good health. He has a fairly large caliber bullet in him. X-rays show how close the bullet is to his heart. In fact, it's so close it cannot be removed. He had an opening about the diameter of my little finger right here that he had had for months. But with the infection treated, Bob's prognosis is great. But he's ready to go home. He can be adopted. Yep, he could. Bob's treatment cost hundreds of dollars, and he is not the only animal at the Humane Society with special needs. We have a lot of them. Buford was hit by a car. He was brought to Irving Animal Services in hopes to find the owner. When no one came forward, the Humane Society rescued Buford and got him the extensive leg surgery he needed. And the surgery was about $1,000. This is Camilla, and Camilla was found by Animal Services with her back lug stuck in a fence. She had her leg amputated. Handsome shows plenty of spunk for a dog with two broken legs in a case of abuse. One vet suggested maybe he was, you know, thrown off a balcony. Someone shot off one of Spirit's legs. Ishtar was hit by a car. Sadly, there are many similar stories. Some of the dogs that have the very worst things happen to them, it's almost like they appreciate the opportunity to stay alive and have a home, uh, and, and they show it. That's one reason Dr. Burkett donates most of his services. All the exams that we do, we don't charge them for them. Uh, the surgeries that we do for them are done at a substantially reduced cost. Even so, the costs of specialists and prescriptions can run up quickly. They still have the antibiotics, which are very expensive. There's no insurance to cover that. If we go into surgery, we still have the anesthesia costs. Heartworm treatment itself is a very expensive thing. That's where the Humane Society's Guardian Angel Fund comes in. Donations are helping Desert Bob and others. When we have a case like this, we have a very good adoptable dog that hasn't had a chance. It's worth it for us to put some money into it and give this dog a second chance. The Humane Society's website is the place to donate and keep up with the latest Angel Fund cases. Some dogs shown here are still in need of donations to pay for surgeries. Desert Bob is fully recovered from his ordeal. He lived for a complete year with this injury. And when I came out there, he wagged his tail. He looked at me. He was happy to see me. He's still wagging his tail. There are a lot of happy endings. The dogs we showed you earlier have all been adopted into good, loving homes. Don't get that thing. Good girl. Lucy is enjoying the good life at the home of Irving Police Officer Brian Crum. She was hit by a car and uh, it really just shattered. It shattered her uh, her leg pretty, pretty bad. She lost her leg, but Lucy still fits in well with the other dogs and even a rescued donkey at Crum's home outside the city. She is as fit and as healthy and as active as a, as a dog with four legs. Now he is looking at having Lucy trained as a therapy dog to work with injured veterans. Maybe as a little inspiration that, you know, this hasn't hampered her. You ready? Get it. This hasn't hampered her a bit. A happy dog given a chance because donors paid for her leg surgery. I can't say enough uh, about people that donate to the Angel Fund. I mean, you're saving, you're, you're saving this animal's life. Good girl. Woo.